Hello and welcome once again to Rimworld. So in the last episode our little husky took some damage unfortunately from a random bear and Ray. Uh, Ray decided to shoot the dog instead of the bear because he's an idiot. Um, now when I was looking at our husky I realised that Ophelia isn't the bonded person uh, with the animal. Kelly actually is. So if we go into her needs, you can see that she feels bad because she's not bonded, or she's not the master of her bonded animal. So we are going to change that to Kelly. So our husky should now follow Kelly instead, and Kelly should feel better because of it. Yeah, so she gets a plus five because she's now the master of the animal. So yeah, not a bad thing to do, it just gives that little bit of extra happiness. Sorry about that guys. So, we've got a decent amount of meat, although our meals are running a bit slim. Um, are you both, yeah we've got no fine meals now. So it's unpaused that, so we should start making those again at least. Oh, and we have a new colonist, Gundoza. Welcome to the colony, my friend. Let's take a look at you. You're very good at shooting. Not bad at melee. Okay with cooking. Good at construction and art, though. Okay. So, let's take a look. Knock you down for a one in all of these, although doctor, no, with a skill of three, you're not a doctor, thank you. Uh, cooking, with a skill of four, yeah, you know what, you can cook. Although everyone else that I've got on there now is better, although you do have a passion for it, so, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, you can hunt as well. set you to a two for hunting, a two for construction, a three for art, I suppose if you're doing nothing else you can clean, crafting you're just bad at, yeah so if there's no uh, cooking, cleaning or hunting to do, oh sorry construction, hunting, cooking, then you can do some art. That'd be good. Yep, thank you very much. I do have an art table, don't I? And yes, I have set up some bills as well, so hopefully he'll go and do that, although he's just getting dressed at the moment. Now the other thing, he's got a shooting of nine. You've got a 9, and Ray, oh, you've got a 9 as well, although you're better with melee. So, i tell you what. Ray, go and equip that club, please. And Gundozer, you can go and equip the pistol. And then you can get back to your sculpture. And that can be your bed. Now, all I need in there is a nice plant. And then the room will be pretty much the same as all the others. Although the other thing I could use is knocking out that wall and putting a vent there. Now, although I'm getting a heater in every room, having the vent isn't a bad thing for sort of these rooms that aren't heated. The other thing I need, of course, is a light in there. Uh, oh dear. Disease. Uh, target scoped has gotten sick from muscle parasites. Ensure you have medical bed and doctor. Oh. And who else? Ophelia. Oh no! 
they probably infected each other. Let's take a look. Uh, so they're in 20% pain. Uh, manipulation is minus 30. Moving is minus 30. Wow. So, um, that can be turned into a medical bed, please. Uh, target, go, go rest. And we need another bed. ASAP. So, prioritise building a bed, please. And that can become a medical bed as well. Ophelia, go and rest until healed. Now, who is our doctor? Uh, target scoped. Okay, Jupiter. Prioritize here, please. Once you've done one of them, you should do the other. Oh no, target decided to go and heal Ophelia. Well, that's very nice of you. While you're sick yourself, you went and healed her. Oh, I suppose it's one of them that you just have to heal every now and then. So that's not too bad. It's still bad that they're both ill, but... Uh, Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. Oh, of course, Ray. Uh, so, Ray, I will take you off of hunting for now. Because I don't really want to send you out hunting and you try and beat up a bear with a stick. Like, it's not a good idea. Uh, at least with two medical beds, that gives us a little bit of leeway when people are ill. Uh, and our fuel generator is broken down. See, I knew in the last episode, when we got that positive psychic drone, that the storyteller was going to throw something horrible at me. Made two of our people ill, it's making things break down. Uh, never mind. Our research is almost finished, which is going to give us a big boost. Oh, really? You're just not having a good time, are you, little husky? At least his pain has gone to none. And there's the hydroponics finished. Good, good. What next? Do auto doors. Mm. Smithing might be a good idea. Weapons and tools. Yeah, you know what? Smithing, I think. But now what I want to do is get a place for growing indoors with hydroponics. Now, these still need light. Uh, requires power. Plants will die if power is cut, yeah. But as I say, as far as I'm aware, they still need light. So, I will need... Where are you? Furniture. A sun lamp. So how big is that? That is... Five, six, seven... Eight by eight total space required. Okay then. So... One, two, three, four... Eight... By eight. I'll have the door in the corner. So I'll have the sun lamp in the middle. Hang on, eight by eight. That doesn't make sense. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's eleven by eleven. 
How did I get 8 by 8? I have no idea. There we go. That's better. However... If I dig out sort of the full size, I think uh, the area will be too big and the roof will collapse, which... Oh. My plants are still dying because it's too cold. Which is slightly annoying. How are you guys doing? Still got it. Will they ever go away? It doesn't say. Am I stuck with those parasites forever? A nearby settlement, Aswick, contact you on the tra uh, with a special trade request. They would like to purchase Go Go Juice, or Go Juice times eight. And in return, they will offer 642 silver. Wow. Unfortunately, I don't have any of that. So, I can't help them. I wish I did. Because that is a ridiculously good price. Our little dog still doing his job. Oh dear. A distant chemical fire has released a plume of toxic, uh, a plume of poison over the entire region. Any person or creature not under a roof will slowly, uh, will be slowly sickened by the toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. It will last from anywhere between a few days to over a season. Oh God! Right. So I now need a new zone. Manage area, new. Wrong one, area two, that's what I want to rename. Toxic. Now, thankfully, the large, per uh, the large majority of my base is indoors, so I can just set it up like this, and no one will leave. There is this, but honestly, I don't need to go out there unless something serious happens. So, restrict everyone to toxic. Okay. 
because I really don't want anyone going outside for any reason. We've got some food that will last us, thankfully, especially because of the uh, the bear meat and the. Oh wow, we're out of the mega sloth meat. We've just got the bear meat now. Wow. Uh, but yeah, that should still last us a little while. And oh yeah, we've managed to make some sculptures. So we've got a superior sculpture, a normal sculpture, a poor sculpture, uh, and a good sculpture. Well, this one I think shall be installed in Ophelia and Target Scopes room because as a superior one I want it to affect more people so being in there will affect two of them at least. And this one can go in his room at Gundaza because he's making the things, he deserves a nice sculpture in his room. makes more we'll fill the other rooms with them as well. Uh, oh that's something else. Kelly which bed is yours? It's this one isn't it? Yeah. So that dog's bed can be reinstalled in here now please. is horrible. Oh, my hair is starving. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about the plants. Why are my hairs starving? Oh, because I'm not really feeding them. I don't think they'll eat these meals they have to eat. Uh, yeah. Diet, vegetable seed, live plants, meals, processed food, liquor and kibble. Okay, well we can make some kibble hopefully. Do forever. Hey, raw food, yep. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter what cooking skills they've got I don't think. Do forever. Actually, I'll do until you have. That's a better one. So, I would like 20 kibble in stockpile. Unpause when there is. Hopefully now that will feed my uh, guys, because well, you don't cook. Who cooks? Kelly, you do cook. Uh, ah. Need materials, so I can't actually make kibble out of what I've got. Damn it. I think my hairs might die. I think my dog can eat just normal meals. Yeah. Well, that's bad and unfortunate. And then it drops some corn. Fine. Um, you become unrestricted and go and haul that corn please. People can be outside for a little while before they get sort of problems but locking everyone in just means that I don't have to worry about the, you know, 
I don't have to worry about them wandering outside on their own and then getting sick. Oh, and she's gone to sleep. Okay. Uh, well, you can go back to Toxic then. Who's awake? Ray, you're awake. Uh, you can haul, can't you? Yes, yes, you can. So, set you to unrestricted. And you can haul some corn. is Ophelia. There you are. Ah, oh, look, she's making kibble. Can you prioritise healing them, though? I'm, I'm assuming kibble doesn't... Uh, yeah, kibble doesn't need to be in the freezer. So what I can do is set up this little stockpile Critical importance. Clear everything. Right. You're allowed kibble and hay in that stockpile. So hopefully now that kibble will get moved to there. Tiny bit of corn left. Prioritize, uh, prioritize hauling that kibble, please. There we go, our rabbits aren't going to die now. All good. Uh, Ray, instead of doing that, can you grab. Where's that last bit of corn gone, or is an animal come along and eating it? Here, wasn't it? And I suppose an animal came along and ate, ate it. Oh, that's a point. A lot of the animals are going to get sick as well. Yeah, look, toxic build up moderate. Oh man, my entire map is going to become a desolate wasteland. Might be a good idea to send these guys hunting. Oh, the dog went and got it. That poor little dog has been going outside still. Oh dear. I didn't set him to toxic. As soon as he's home, I'll be doing that. Oh, I can't set him to... Okay, I'll, I'll set him to animal area one for the moment then. Even that me That means he won't be able to stay with Kelly. Although, actually... He should just stay with Kelly normally, shouldn't he? So I don't really need to set him to that. Uh, but you unrestricted and target you unrestricted because I want some animals to be hunted while they're still alive. some of this is dug out I'll be able to grow food and stuff in here so that will take some of the strain off but I 
quite a lot of metal in here. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he's got toxic buildup, so no, he does have to be set to like animal area one. In fact, you know what I'll do. Manage areas. Uh, new animal area. Considering he's allowed anywhere anyway, I can just do the same thing that I've done for the people with him. And then I don't have to worry about him going outside and getting hurt because of the toxic buildup. And of course I've got to keep an eye on these two. Oh look, he did the smart thing, he went next to it. Then again, I think that's because all of the animals now are pretty much fainting and dying. Well, what animals are left? Doesn't look like there's a lot left. Seriously, is there anything left alive out here? There's an animal. A rabbit. Another female, unfortunately, so yeah, just hunt it. Another one there, another couple there. Yeah, that's about it. What I could do, actually, instead of hunting that animal, rescue it and instead of hunting those two when I get to the same point I'll rescue those as well because they might join us once we've rescued them it's worth a shot But I am going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, where are you going? Yeah, you know what, no. Now you're not hunting. Stay indoors, okay? In fact, a feeling. Why could you go out and rescue the animal? No idea. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, so I am going to leave the episode off here, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time.